there are uh, three components to the physics course. So we have lectures, approximately 20 per week. Then we have tutorials, which cover mostly problem sheets we are given from the lecturers. And we have labs, in which we acquire practical skills. Um, these are usually one day per week. Physics for me is like the science of everything, <laughs> if you want to phrase it in this way. Um, because you can kind of explain the whole world um, with physics. We can build models that describe a very wide variety of things. We can describe small atoms, we can describe galaxies, the whole universe is amazing. <laughs> um, and I think Oxford is particularly well made for physics because um, through the tutorial system you acquire the skills you need to think about physics. Not only the knowledge you need to solve problems, but also um, a certain way of approaching the problems, of thinking about them. In the first year, the course is divided into uh, half physics and half uh, maths. Um, so we have two, tutor, uh, two tutors, which, so one of them does the physics part with us in one tutorial per week, and the other tutor does the maths part in one tutorial per week. Um, and additionally, we have classes, so where the whole year group of Pembroke meets and where we, for example, discuss the collections. So these are um, college exams at the start of the terms. And additionally, we have um, a physics society at Pembroke where we, for example, um, have small talks and yeah, get into discussions about physics. Um, and at the end of each term, we have a small a short meeting with our tutors where we personally um, say what we found good about the term, what could be improved. I don't think that it's um, very important to um, have a certain knowledge. So of course you should know a bit about physics, but um, our tutors are generally more interested in the way you think about physics. So you should um, try to uh, do some problems, to uh, think about things. Um, what I found quite useful was reading books about physics, so that you just get some broad idea of what physics is about, <laughs> and learn how to approach problems. I think the most important thing is that the tutorials really force you to do the problems. They force you to think about the problems and your tutors will find out if you don't understand something. So they will ask you questions which um, if you don't understand something you can't, ans can't answer on these questions and then they will explain it to you. So um, for example Sometimes we are a bit ahead with our problems of the lectures and then our tutors explain it really well to us so that we understand um, the physics behind things. In uh, the second term of first year you do um, orbit, orbit problems, so you um, think about the solar system and how things work in the solar system. and. In uh, one problem set, we uh, had to deal with um, a general force, so not only a gravitation or electrostatic force, but a general force law. And um, this problem was about which force laws can produce closed orbits around a planet or a star. And the interesting thing is that without doing much work, you can actually um, work out that only a gravitational force and a quite obscure force can produce close orbits. So with our first year techniques we could basically find out that if we see closed orbits at the sky these must be gravitational forces and that's amazing. I mean you see stars which are light years away and can 
basically work out with very simple techniques how these systems work. I think these problems are not about testing you. They are these problems you are given at the start of the year are about um, giving the tutors an idea where you are strong, where you have weaknesses, and you shouldn't attempt to uh, cover these weaknesses. You should do the problems as far as you can, and if you have problems, that's nothing bad because the tutors will address this with you.